Hello, it's Anne and welcome back to The Home Bartender. If you like mango, if you like tiki, and you're a big fan of bourbon, then you've come to the right place. We are making a mango overboard today, so stay tuned for the ingredients. They're coming up next. You will need two ounces of bourbon, two ounces of mango juice, one ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice, quarter ounce of orgeat, quarter ounce of simple syrup, and we will garnish today with some mango slices. Alrighty, I was looking for an alternative way to make an Eastern sour cocktail, which I've been reaching for all summer long. I love Eastern sour cocktails. I saw this cocktail on the Modern Tiki website. If you haven't been there, go visit their website. It's really great, moderntiki.com. Um, anyway, I had to try this cocktail, so let's just jump right in. So we're gonna have a quarter ounce of simple syrup. We'll do a quarter ounce of orgeat. And we're gonna have two ounces of mango juice. I'm using Trader Joe's mango juice here. One ounce of lemon juice. Then let's get two ounces of bourbon in there. All righty. Let's get a little ice in the mixing tin. Just a little bit and shake this up. And then I'm gonna fill my glass about three quarters of the way full of ice. And then I'm gonna put the garnish the mangoes in there. And then let's get the drink in there. And then let's top it again with a little bit more ice. Let's get a Surfside Sips in there. And that is the mango overboard. Trying new cocktails is the best part of this channel. So I'm gonna try this for you now. Mmm, that's seriously good. I can see how using fresh mango juice would make a difference or even infusing your bourbon with mango because it would bring out the mango flavor a bit more. But the mango is actually really subtle. The bourbon's actually really subtle. You can taste both of those and it does have a lot of rich flavor um, along with being a bit more sweeter I think than the Eastern Sour. The Eastern Sour has that citrus appeal to it which is nice. Um, and this does not, but even that small amount of orgeat gives this drink a very smooth mouthfeel. Um, it's an easy drink to make, so I strongly encourage you to make it. It's very, very good. Um, that's it for me today, friends. I'm all done. Um, join me next week for another really great cocktail. I post every Friday here on this channel and I'm also over on Instagram at home bartender and I post a picture and a recipe over there so check that out so that's it be well see you next week what'd you say <laughs> <laughs>